again and welcome to the channel my name is mark and for this video i will be talking to you about the latest movie uh that is uh, game boys the movie uh, from the idea first company starring coco de santos elijah canas adriana so cal villino maggie jimenez uh kitsch minimoto and, and Miss Angika Strense with the special participation of Miss Susan Africa. Right, so, and yeah, uh, if you're watching this video, I believe that, sorry, I'm So if you're watching this video, I believe that you are a fan or you've watched already Game Boys uh, Season 1. Or you have also watched uh, the Game Boys the movie. So if you haven't watched the movie yet, please do buy your tickets at ptx.ph and ticket2me.net. Please do not support pirated uh, like streams and uh, copies of the movie. Let's support the creators of this movie para mapaipagpatuloy pa nila ang share ng kwento or ng DL series na gaya nito. Or on the things that I'll be sharing with you uh, regarding this is regarding the thoughts and things that I want to share with you about the movie I'll try my best to not provide any spoiler about the movie um, basically what I will be sharing with you are just all of the uh, like thought that I had uh, while watching the movie I had uh, a lot or experience a lot of emotions while watching the movie i just want to share with you that i've cried i've um got angry like i was like pinching my fist and yeah uh this is really like a roller coaster like ride of uh of like a movie if you are going to watch this or if you have already watched it you would understand uh the feelings that i had or the emotions that i had uh, while watching the movie but then again if you don't want to get any like spoiler or anything uh if you want to you know um have like the first uh hand like you know reaction about the movie uh and you haven't watched it yet i would suggest to skip this video <laughs> Uh, so that uh, you will not get any idea of what to expect uh, about the movie. So yeah, basically uh, uh, what I will share with you is I'm going to do it in a way that I'm going to be talking about uh, things or my thoughts for each of the characters in this uh, movie. So that would be uh, Gabriel, Cairo, Terence, Wesley, Achilles, Pearl, and Tita Susan. Alright, so we're gonna start with Gavril. So for Gavril, uh, the thing that I've noticed uh, on for the character uh, on this movie was it's a story of how he overcomes his fear. Um, we've known uh, Gav as someone who is strong. Uh, siya yung taong gagawin ang lahat para sa taong mahal niya. Uh, Magdadrive siya during the pandemic. Hahanap siya ng way para lang makasama yung taong mahal niya. This is what we've seen sa season 1 ng G Game Boys. Uh, however, in the movie, makikita natin yung vulnerable side ni Gav. Though, on season 1, nakita natin yun ng konti. Pero this is deeper dive into the struggles and uh, the issues or the fear uh, fears that uh, Gav has. Kung na surprise kayo uh, dun sa breakdown ni ni, ni Gav uh, when uh, uh, during the episode about his grandmother, as well as the episode where they had like an argument with Kai, you were surprised uh, sa mga scenes na yon. Mas maso surprise kayo sa breakdown na gagawin uh, ni Gab or ng character ni Gab sa movie. Mas maluloka kayo sa mangyayari sa movie kasi na, dito mo talaga makikita yung sobra na siyang uh, nalug, like, yung parang hindi niya na kaya, yung hindi niya na ma-handle yung lahat ng issues na kakaharapin niya sa movie. Um, yung tipong mapapa alam niyo yun wala na siyang maisip na gawin like yung tipong ano na talaga siya umabot na siya sa sukdulan ng pag pag ti, pagtatago at pagtitimpi ng kanyang ano ng kanyang mga emotions 
So, yun, and it, yun yung makikita natin sa movie na to. Uh, when it comes to uh, the character of Gav, uh, you will see how he overcomes uh, those fear uh, and you know now on the second character uh, it's going to be Kai of course Kairo uh, for the character of Kairo on this movie uh, makikita natin yung the response I would say responsible side of Kai uh, the way that he thinks about stuff uh, the way that he reacts to things that are happening around him important like issues uh, that is happening around him. Uh, makikita natin yung hindi na siya agad nagpapadala sa emotion. Um, he thinks of the persons that will get affected before he reacts to it. Also, maybe because on season 1, yung story is para talagang nakafocus sa kanya and those experiences he had on season 1, uh, the struggles that he had, parang naggamit niya dito sa movie as a, as a learning experience and then that's why he know like he knows the like the struggles of Gav and understands it uh dahil nga he was in the same state uh sa season 1 given that masasabi natin yung yung movie is really like focus on on Gav more uh, centric on Gav which i think this is not a spoiler because based on the trailer and the teaser is that uh, the idea for his company uh released it actually give us that kind of like feeling of um, w what's the center uh, of, of the movie or the story uh, or the plot of the movie. So, dito natin makikita, na makikita niyo yung isang kairong andang lumaban para sa tama at para sa taong mahal niya. But still, uh, keeping in mind that uh, he is, uh, like keeping in mind that he needs to be mature on how he reacts on these issues and that there is a responsibility and there is um yung yung katotohanan na kailangan nilang harapin na kailangan ng harapin with like mature adult thinking Ganun. now let's go to the third character that i will be sharing or sharing my thoughts about is basically the character of terence terence uh alam naman natin lalabas siya sa movie na to the terence story i believe is more about second chances so though there's this feeling that i feel that uh the story of because this movie is centric on gab the story of terence and wesley on this movie is missing some parts there are parts of their story that actually is missing i think that is uh intentional uh idea for his company and uh, because I think if I've understood it correctly, initially this is supposed to be the, si the season two, uh, uh, but they made it into a movie given the output that they've seen after fil like filming, um, na parang mas fit siya into a movie. So they did the movie before the season two. So maybe that's actually the reason why I feel that some parts are missing because those parts will be. Uh, released or will be included on season two so but again uh, i still see the the story of terence as something about second chances makikita natin sa movie yung pag value ni terence of the second chance that he was given uh and that second chance he was given he is also uh giving that chances to others um he also i think learned the importance of saying sorry and uh, being true to others like being true to what he really feels and um, being true to what he thinks uh, there is a, something that you might see as a backstory of Terence as well which is I think it's already known uh, in season one but it's still missing some parts on this movie so and I think uh, we will understand more once we see season two of Game Boys Given that we have Terence, of course, uh, we're gonna have Wesley. So Wesley, uh, the story of Wesley or the part of Wesley in this movie would be a story about uh, perseverance in fighting for what you really want. Again, uh, there's not a lot that I see on this movie that talks about uh, the story of Terence and Wesley. Um, but in this movie, it kind of give us like a, an overview of what the story of Wesley and Terence will be. In this movie, nakita ko na parang 
yung pagporsigyan ni, Wes- ni Wesley para makuha yung mga bagay na importante sa kanya. Um, di ba nga competitive yung character ni, 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 ni Wesley? Uh, ano siya? Achiever. Nan- yun yung character na kinu- Achiever siya uh, kasi nga ma- mautak siya. Ngayon, meron siyang ganun parang uh, parang character, parang mindset na he needs to like compete, he needs to win. Ganun. So, hindi siya titigil hanggat hindi niya namimite yung pagmamahal na inaasam niya. So, yun yung makikita natin uh, dito sa movie on how uh, Wesley, what he did in order to like achieve uh, the love from Terence, I think. Now, on to the other character which is involved in Alt Game Boys is, of course, Achilles. So, we've seen Achilles on the... Alt Game Boys episode 13.1, I think, if I remember it correctly. Um, 13.5. So, Alt Game Boys, you know that. On that episode of Game Boys, nakita natin yung character ni Achilles as someone who is understanding. So, on this movie, actually, just to say this, um, all of the actors uh, in this movie, they did, like, outstanding performances. Like, emotions wise um actions everything you would really think that they are real like people of course they are based i think if um i always believe that they are based on like somewhat some like a real person um but yeah uh the, their characters on this movie pag, pag pinarood mo siya makikita mo siya as someone na parang totoong tao talaga hindi mo sila makikita as actors playing the roles but you will see them as uh, as the uh, as the character itself mawawala yung connection mo sa actors so yun yung sa akin lang naman yun na I, I don't speak for everyone and that's only my own opinion while watching the movie so na surprise ako uh, when Kitch uh, w- what Kitch Minimoto the uh, actor for Achilles dead on his, on his character because parang si Achilles talaga yung nakakita ko hindi ko nakakita yung yung actor na si Kitch so again uh, as i mentioned he is the understanding character Achilles uh, based on out game boy so on this one parang he is still true to the character like he is still the understanding uh, forgiving uh, kind of person um it continues basically the, the the character continues to this movie it, it still shows those like uh actions and attitude that he has in which he is like forgiving he is understanding of things um and that's why i believe uh, his story is about acceptance and forgiveness on this movie nakita natin yung pagkamantindihan niya at ang pag-accept niya na may mga bagay na kung hindi pwede eh hindi talaga yun siya yung he is he understand things it will not work and he yung tipong hindi ko hahadlangan ang isang tao para sa kasayahan niya so i feel the pain uh, but i understand it and i want that person to be happy yun yung parang story na, na nakita ko sa character na ni Achilles it's all about acceptance and and forgiveness yun yung understanding um aspect now of course um game boys would not be game boys if wala yung paborito nating you know mayora of course pearl so pearl is always going to be pearl uh he is always the ally uh for all of these other characters he is always there for her friends so nakita na though um alam yung idea na pag nandiyan si Pearl, lahat ng bagay magiging maayos. Para siyang yung ano nga, para siyang si Chang Ami. Para siyang para siyang yung tatakbuhan mo para sa solusyon ng isang problema tapos ma-fix niya mag- magbibigay siya ng mga payo na ikakaayos nung 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 sitwasyon. One thing that I miss though on this movie is her own story. Um it's her her on this movie, it's more of her uh, being the ally, being the friend. That's his story, or that's her story in this movie. Uh, the ally for uh, Wester, for Achilles, and for Kyrell. So, yun yung ginampanin ng role dito. Wala akong masyadong nakita. I don't know if there are like any 
Easter eggs or anything like that that I haven't seen while watching. I only watched the movie once, so wala akong actually wala akong pagbayad <laughs> for the movie. Uh, I'll share with you how I was able to watch the movie later. So um, yeah, with her presence in the movie, the like, fixed up. So it's yung character niya. But again, it's still missing uh, her own story. Uh, I hope to see more of her um, uh, sa Pearl Next Door World in Season 2 or maybe uh, on Season 2 what the Idea First company would do is that they will be, of course, re like uniting Game Boys, Art Game Boys and Pearl Next Door. Uh, it will just be the, the Game Boys universe basically for Season 2. I hope. Uh, that, that's gonna be the case. I don't know how they will do it. I always trust the um, magic that Ash do with like the story. So I don't know what he will do to the story, but I that's what I'm hoping. I hope that we'll get another like crossover on season two of like Pearl Next Door and Game Boys and Out Game Boys. I want that. Para parang nago widen or nag nag widen na yung scope uh, nung story talaga kasi ngayon magkahiwalay pa rin talaga yung Pearl Next Door and yung Game Boys na na, na, na storylines uh, sana on the season 2 parang sasama na sila and one scene that I really love on this movie uh, is that there is a scene with Pearl uh, I will not share what the scene is para it was spoiler but it was really the part where I had like I was crying like uh, I was not like bowling, but I like tears. Uh, really, um, with that scene, like I felt it. I felt uh, the emotion uh, that Pearl had. Um, there are other scenes also that I've cried. Uh, there's a lot, uh, and yeah, uh, this other scenes uh, it will now involve the uh, other character or uh, the on this on this movie, which is of course. Alam natin at marami ang nainis sa kanya nung lumabas siya sa, sa trailer uh, eh, si Tita Susan. Now, for Tita Susan, I believe the story of Tita Susan is about respect. It's all about respect. And it's also about fate. Um, much respect to Tita Angie for the job well done. Na, yung, like, as I mentioned a while ago, they really, parang, they really embodied the the, the the role and uh, sila nag yung makikita mo sa movie is yung character talaga uh, though alam natin uh, like in real life si Tita Angie if you watch the after show of the movie uh, yung energy ni Tita Angie talaga dong nagiging sila super na amaze ako and she is just parang ang bubbly niya na, na person na parang um ang sarap niyang maging kasama and maging parang ka, ka, nanay. Alam niyo, nanay na na, na vice meron sa kanya si Tita Angie. Uh, but for her character, Tita Susan, if you hate Tita Susan in the trailers, you'll hate her more in the movie. Um, I just want to say that she represents main, many of like the struggles uh, the fears and the pain that uh, the LGBTQIA plus community continues to fight with. Um, while watching like a scene of her on this movie, I was like, you know, I was like this. I was like clenching my fist, my fists, fists. Ah, uh, kasi yung parang tapos lumuluhan ako, tapos parang gusto ko ng yun ganon na yung nararamdaman ko sa kanya like. Like, uh, can, you, can you stop? Can you stop talking? Yun yung mafe-feel mo while watching her, uh, watching Tita Susan. Yung parang, ano ba? Yung parang, like, kasi yung the lines, the, the, the things that he said on the movie are actually real. These are things that is happening in real life. Like, of course, this is, like, they're playing a role that is, like, referencing someone in real life. Ganun yun eh. Uh, pero dito talaga parang for me personally I see her meron kang alam yung as someone who is part of the LGBTQIA plus community you will really relate to it kasi 
sa character sa mga sinabi ni Tito Susan may makikita kang tao sa buhay mo or yeah sa buhay mo na na represent niya na parang though that's like not a good thing but pinakita niya sa character ni Tita Susan yung tao yun um sabi ko nga dito is I see her as someone in 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 my life uh, that I've encountered I uh, na encounter ko siya, even in my past sa sa pamilya na encounter ko siya one of her like words and one of, like her character may ganung tao marami akong actually marami akong taong ganung na encounter uh, I just wish I can be Cav in the future I can be Kai in the future uh, that will be able to basically uh, educate people about the reality uh, of what is really happening now what is what's the truth and what is the, like the community um basta ihanda niyo ang sarili niyo when if you haven't watched the movie yet um make sure to have yourself ready for her character because her words whatever he, she will say on maybe like 99% makakaisip ka ng tao if you're part of the community even if you're not part of the community um, makakaisip ka ng tao na uy parang si ano yan uy ano ko to ganun yung maiisip ko you will think uh, mo, you will think of someone uh, na marilig mo kay Tita Susan okay. so that's all the characters that I will like that's all the thoughts that I have of the characters on this on this story Uh, one thing that I will share that is not basically about characters, it's basically all about the movie and the production. I really love if you... Some people on Twitter have been posting that there are some easter eggs. Uh, I, I haven't seen... Or like... I haven't seen? Because I just watched it once in a while, so maybe I saw it. There are things that you would make, make you remember of the season, the first season. Um, and you will also... If you will also hear things that... That is, that is not only about Game Boys, as but also about the people that supported Game Boys. Yun lang sa sabihin ko. May maririnig kayo dito sa sa or may bawa pa nung kasi dito sa sa movie na to na masasabi niyo si ano yan, yan. Because these people, yung parang naging reference nila dito, are also those people who have been supporting them. Uh, the, the Game Boys, the production and everything um, that is that helped them in a way uh, in order to you know uh, spread the word about Game Boys so parang may idea na kayo kung ano yun basta kung napanood nyo to alam nyo yung sinasabi ko kung hindi nyo pa napanood pero mo rin nyo na para malaman nyo so yeah one thing also is that I love how Like there are small details in this. But there's one thing, cause that I've, I've seen in this movie. Uh, it's a scene, or it's, it's like a a prop on a character. Uh, that this character, like of course, has a backstory. But his, uh, or but the character's backstory was not. The the story of the character was not like explained thoroughly, but we were given the, the idea of like her of the characters like basically background but there's one thing in the set of that character of that actor that you will see alam yung particular kasi ako sa mga bagay na nasa set ng isang like is, like sa isang frame ng movie tapos may nakita kang bagay na parang uy it's unusual for that to be there but it's helping the story something like that And there is this one thing, it's a white orange thing and that is included on that set that is really a big thing. It's a small thing, but it is really a big part of the backstory or the story of that character on that set. So, yeah, it's white orange. So, ang galing lang na naisip nyo lang ilagay yon sa set or sa, 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 sa frame. To support like the story of that character, I was amazed. I would na amazed ako dito na nung napatid ko parang ug ang galing yung simpleng bagay niyan parang hindi mo naman siyang hindi ilagay pero nung nilagay siya 
mas daging solid yung story ng character na yun. So all in all, I mean, uh, this is a wonderful movie that you should watch. Uh, it's not a movie that is only for the members of the community, the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, it's a movie that must be watched by everyone. Lalo na yung mga tao na kagaya ni Tito Susan. Kung meron kayong kakilala na kagaya ni Tito Susan, and gusto nyong ishare sa kanila itong movie na to, I would suggest doing so um, para siguro magiging ano, educational material nila to. Uh, on how they should see the community. Um, say parang sana um, I'm welcome na yung mga struggles and fears and pains that Ita Susan um, is showing hindi na siya ma-experience ng next generation. It is slowly like being removed. Like, parang unti-unti na nakita natin unti-unti na nagiging accepting ang mga tao uh, sa community. Uh, at sana uh, nga will come at time na totally na talaga magi accepting that there will be no issues anymore about whoever is part of the community. So, yun lang. So again, uh, this is a movie that you need to watch. Um, at some point of this movie, I feel like um, this is my story. Uh, some part of it feels like I can really relate to, especially um, the character of God. Um, in some way, I can relate to it. So I feel like uh, at some point, uh, this is my story. So thank you to everyone who is a part of the show, who created the show to the Idea First Company. Kina uh, Kokoy, Elijah, Adriana, Kyle, M- Kitch, Biggie, uh, Miss Angie, kay, uh, Miss Susan Africa, kay, um, Derek Ivan, Derek Percy, lahat, kay Ash for the story. Uh, sa lahat ang bumuo, nag-edit, nag-production team set. Thank you for sharing the story to all of us. Um, Siguro masyado akong, ano no, like, masyado akong, why I, I am I so thankful to them? Because again, as I've said, at some point of the story, uh, some parts of the story of this movie, is actually, like, portion or an event uh, in my life. So, yeah, I can really kind of, like, relate to, to, to the movie. So, grabe. This is amazing. So I think um, that's it for my reaction, or not really a reaction, but those are all my thoughts about the movie. So basically, I'm just sharing to you, or I've just shared to you, uh, the stories of each character based from my perspective on how I see them. So I hope I've shared something to you. Um, and yeah, again, if you haven't watched the movie yet, uh, it's available at ktx.ph. It's also available on ticketme.net. Uh, grab your tickets now if you haven't watched it yet. Uh, there are still slots available. I think I've seen uh, that there are still slots available. And um, yeah, um, I, I don't know how long will this be on uh, the uh, platforms, uh, but if you have the financial capability or if you're able to watch it, please do watch it. Support. Uh, the movie because you know uh, para magkaroon tayo ng season 2 and also para ma you know no to piracy again no to piracy doon lang tayo sa legit na streaming platform manood ng movie na to uh, and again one more thing that I will be thinking is thank you so much to Limuel Kalisaan uh, he has a YouTube channel. I'll be flashing it when I'm flashing on the TV, flashing on my on the screen right now. Uh, this is his uh, YouTube channel. Please do subscribe to his channel. He was the one who actually gifted me the ticket for uh, this movie. Thank you so much, Timuel, for that. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'll I'll be returning the favor, or I'll be. I'll make sure to return 
something or you know return the favor or something to use once I have the capab capability to do so. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Talaga. Alright, so I think that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you like it, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Follow me on my social media. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be updated whenever I upload the next video. Thanks again for watching. Hang towards the sunod para kita. Amping lang kanunay. Thank you.